Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be going through the bowling knot again. I'll be revisiting it because I've got another way of tying it. So this is a bowling. You can tie it by taking the rope and grabbing the rope with your hand, uh, with your palm facing down, and then take the bottom part to the top. So twist your hand like that and that will give you the correct crossing turn. So that's a crossing turn, that's one half, and the other half, it, half is a bite, which is a bit like this. And that is your two halves. So to connect them up, take the working end, put it through the loop, round and back down, like so, so you've got your crossing turn and your bite and just pull the knot tight and that will give you your bowline. It's also pronounced bowline but I'm going to call it the bowline. Okay so I showed you how to tie the bowline with two hands and let's show you how to do it with one hand now. So. So with my right hand this time, so imagine that that's fixed to something. We've got our working end a few inches away from the end. I've got my palm face down and we're going to make like a, a thumbs up sort of shape. So with your working end, we're going to take the rope, put it over the standing rope. Using the thumb, we're going to hook round like so. And that means we've got our crossing turn there. And we're going to make a bite with this hand here, with your right hand. To make the bite, we're going to go underneath the standing end and back down. Yeah. So there's our bite and there's our crossing turn. So what you would do is just pull the rope and it would pull itself tight. So as you pull the rope, it will tighten up. Just keep hold of this and there's your bowline. So we'll do it again. So holding the rope a few inches from the end Thumb up, put a hand over the rope, thumb underneath, twist it. Now we have our loop and our working end. Take the working end underneath the rope, and back down, and remove our hand from the loop, like so. And now what we would do with this fix, we just pull that until the rope, the knot tightens up. So pull in with our right hand, the rope would tighten. And we'll do that one more time. So working end, right hand, thumb up, underneath, twist it up, back down. There's our crossing turn with our working end under and back down. Pull that through, and there's our bite and our crossing turn. And now what you would do is pull down the rope until the, the knot's formed. And there we go. That is with the right hand. Can do it with the left hand, it's a bit trickier if you're right-handed. So. Because it's the left hand, it has to be mirrored. So we'll pick it up with the left hand, with thumb again, over the rope, grab with our thumb, twist it up. A bit of a kink in the rope. Okay, 
So that's around the hand. The rope then go under and back round and pull through. We're going to put it tight. Let's do that again. It wasn't very clear. So, left hand over, twist. So we've got our crossing turn around our hand and we've got the working end in our left hand. The working end goes round standing end and back down. Pull the rope back through and then you would pull down the rope to tighten up and there's your bowlin. As you'll notice, they are mirrored. So they are slightly different knots, but one being tied in the right hand and one tied in the left hand. There we go. Thanks for watching.